from Little Havana just west of downtown Miami we've got baseball from Marlins Park tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Miami Marlins Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Trevor Richards a right hander from Illinois will be the starter here. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey this guy has a four pitch repertoire right and those are a lot of nice options to have you can go hard soft you can go in and out and anytime you have four pitches if you can throw them for strikes you have the big advantage settling in now Lorenzo Kane he'll get us started in this one the under Brewers, the lights the center fielder Lorenzo Kane first offering on its way. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them two and eight over their last ten games. Yeah, Matty V, it hasn't been a very good homestand in D-Row. Through the first five games of this set, one and four, that's not going to get it done at this level. Yeah, and, and have lost in a variety of ways, whether it be on, uh, on some bad pitching, some mistakes in the middle of the zone untimely defense not swinging the bats well they have to find a way to get this win today no offer on that one two balls and a strike Richards has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep so many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball but he really limits that now the two one count even at two and two here now the two two on he pops it up Frazier stay with it as he backs up and puts it away one gone and with that here's a look at the Brewers starting lineup Dero how do they lock up a series victory here on the road yeah Maddie this lineup has just gone cold it happens from time to time but somebody's going to have to create a spark. Hopefully it's with the first two guys in the batting order. So stepping in Corey Spangenberg he's hitting 333 in the series two for six. He's ready here's the first offering. Trying to bunt his way aboard but this will get foul. One out, nobody on. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him that go about his business. The right time. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in, Christian Yelich. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cortez waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Corbin Burns will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. At the plate, Alejandro Cortez. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Cortez. First delivery to him on the way. 
And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Matty, both the first two games of this series have been nail biters, but they've been able to find a way to win. And if you're going to the postseason, you need to be good in one run game. No doubt about it, D-Row. They always say, hey, it's easy to win those blowout games, games that get out of hand, but there have been two nail biters so far on this one. They've won both, and they'd like nothing more to continue their winning ways and win this one here today. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. From 0-2 to 3-2, and two, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, d -Row? Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. Now at the plate, Brian Anderson has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he misses low with it, 2 and 0. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, D Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. And there's out number two. Up next for Miami, Adam Frazier. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And now pitch on the way. Ball. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. I can't tell you how big a pitch that is right there to be called the ball. 2-0 as an offensive player. Man, it's almost 70% fastball. 1-1, one, one, he opens up the entire arsenal to get you out. 3-0 and oh now. Neil Walker would be next. Three and 3-0 oh pitch on its way. 3-1. Yeah. and one. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. The 3-1. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. The first baseman. Here's Neil Walker. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled off. Frazier is off of first with two away. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Oh, 
And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. And inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Mustakis. He comes into this one forward. sixth in the National the League in home runs. Mike. Hey, D. Rowe upsteps one of the best power hitters in the game. And actually, he hit one out of the ballpark in his last game. Yeah, and I hear you talk about all the time they come in bunches for the power hitters. And that's certainly the case right here. Better be very careful throwing anything over the harder to play today. In there at the letters 0 and 1, Mustakis. Or just Moose for short. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Birdie is there and he has That's it for good. the first down. Check the out the Miami Marlins on defense. Run and let's on. take a look at Brian Anderson. This guy, when I see him out there on the field, I think of one thing. He's a ball player. Offers versatility for his manager. Outfield, little third base. He was fighting for the 2018 Rookie of the Year. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Ball two. No strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Ron Ball with a three and one count now. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. You know when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this. He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out big. front and rip it down the, the line, but that wasn't eight. a great pitch to do Long it on. Here. It's really not Wrong. the best two strike approach either. Here's Ryan Braun now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 0 home. Finds the zone strike 1. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. Hit on the ground out to short to his right Rojas throw on to Walker at first and the inning is over gone in order of the Brewers will go to the bottom of the second no score. Into the box now Jorge Alfaro he'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Jorge Alfaro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. There's a called strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays with the launch angles. Guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there, you can go ahead and make some hay. One ball, one strike to count. Line drive 
base hit. And that's hitting one on one right there, guys. The only that way you're able to execute that that's type of base stop. hit on we that can. type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. Standing in now, Miguel Rojas. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And let's take a look at one of the most dynamic infielders in our sport, and that's Orlando Arcia. Playing up the middle, shortstop, premium position, cannon arm, highlight reel plays, the ability to make the routine one as well. The bat will continue to get better. Stepping into the box, Gorky Hernandez. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Lays off two and two now. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 oh and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2 2. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, John Birdie, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 1-0. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Here's the 2-0. And this one's over at the knees, two and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. The two two pitch popped up. Mustakis has a play, and that ends the inning. Marlins leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off, off the, the third after the first the six guys in the lineup Orlando have been retired in order. Arcia. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Oh, 
first offering on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. The 1 0 home is low and outside for a ball. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Nope. 3-0. and Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Hey. Called strike two and now it's full three and two. Wow not sure what you're looking for right there but that one was pretty much middle middle center cut tough pitch to take. Shot to third and handled for the first out. Batting it. The third baseman, number 13, Tyler. Stepping up Saladino. to the plate, Tyler Saladino. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. Saladino is normally at shortstop, although they've got him playing third base here today. Yeah, always one of my favorite things to do. You watch this guy today playing shortstop. You have time. There's rhythm. There's a timing to that position. Third base, man. Step in a dive, reactionary position. You have to come get it, go back on it. A lot of different things. This is a fun player to watch today. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Birdie is there, two gone. So now the Brewers pitcher, Corbin the Burns. Pitcher. And then it seems 39. like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. Three up three down for Milwaukee. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Welcome back as the Marlins look to get the offense going in the third. And this is a lineup that it's had its struggles this season. Currently they rank dead last in the league in team batting average and perhaps more importantly runs scored. As one of the coaches told me the entire organization is pulling their hair out trying to figure out how to put a more potent lineup on the field but that's not something that changes overnight. He said it's going to be a process to become the team we want to be but we're willing to do the hard work that it's going to take to get there. Matt? For the Thank you Heidi. The pitcher. Trevor. Richter. First pitch coming here it is. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Yelich has the best view of this one so he'll take it for the first out. So with one gone we take a look at the current standings in our play and it's not all that pretty as you can see these guys are well back in the division race already looking forward to next year. 
also striding in Alejandro Cortez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on now the bump. Batting. So third far base this base. inning, four Ryan. pitches and two outs. Got Andrew the first guy there. on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Digging in for his second at bat, Brian Anderson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball one. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Runs outside, so it goes to two and zero now. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. The 2-0. Grounded back up the middle. Played on the backhand. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Marlins. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. In now is Lorenzo Kane back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Frazier scoops it up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Ready for another base. chance. Corey Spangenberg Corey. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 on its way. That's a ball. Down and away, ball one. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Drilled to the left side. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Yeah, that. The bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the sweet swinging left handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Anderson has it. Throw on to Walker at first, and the inning is over. Gone in order of the Brewers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score.
And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Just, Just one for ten in the Marlin. series coming in, so we'll look for better results here today. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3 and 2. Neil Walker is on deck. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk now will jumpstart their First offense basement. a little bit. Neil. So striding forward Walker. now, Neil Walker. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way, come at him with hard velo late, or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Frazier gets his lead at first, nobody out. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. The 1 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we now see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these Forehead. days. What makes it so effective? Oh, I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think it can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. In now, Jorge Alfaro as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Here's the one and two. Popped up. Mustakis is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Yep, for Stepping in, Miguel Rojas comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Ah. A high fastball is in there. Two and one. Ah. Now the two one. Ball even at two and two.
hit the other way out toward right field. Yelich is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Miami. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments Maybe could lead to things Milwaukee. turning around for them. The first baseman. All right, thanks, Mike. Heidi. Bustake. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. Well, 2 and 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. Down low, and now, the plot three thickens and here. 3 and 0. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind 3 and 0 on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. The 3 0 pitch. Is a fastball looked at for a strike. Three and two, full count. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And the perfect game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. They haven't been able now to register it. a hit That's against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Next for Milwaukee, Yosemite Grandal. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. A bullet to first base. And the runner gets back. No double play. The left fielder, number eight, Ryan Braun. Digging in now, Ryan Braun. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Nope. Now a That's fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. One-zero -oh count. Here it is, and a strike to even the count. One and one. A ball and two strikes. Mustakis leads off first with one away. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed on a good pitch. And Braun is gone for route number two. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Now at the plate, Orlando Arcia hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Arcia stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. The 1-1 home in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Two and two. Two and two. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Milwaukee leaves one. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Leading off for the Marlins. All right, thanks, Heidi. The right fielder. First offering on its way. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 0. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Lifted in the air to center field. Kane is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The center fielder, number three. In now, John Birdie. He John. popped out in his first trip. Birdie. And the pitch. And that misses for ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Two balls, no strikes Whoa, to the Miami center fielder. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. Under it is Yelich, and there are two away now. The pitcher, Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Richards. Trevor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. This ball will be chopped foul. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another 0 and 2 coming. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Miami down in order. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. And here's Tyler Saladino. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. 
How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Takes this the other way to right. That's a hit, the first of the game for Milwaukee. Hey, Dero, it's kind of getting late early. That's only their first hit of the game, and we're into the sixth inning. Yeah, he, this guy's been on point all day, working it in and out. Their pitching staff obviously did their homework on this offense. But right here, able to break through with the first knock, hopefully the pass to baton mentality goes into effect, and we get some offense. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Showing nope. bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. Here comes the first pitch. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. One there on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Ready once again, Corey Spangenberg. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east west, get you leaning left right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's a look over to first. Runner back standing. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two he got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning Brewer strand one still no score. Riding into the box, Alejandro Lydia, Cortez. He'll start things out no here in a fielder. tie ball game. Alejandro Cortez. First pitch of the at bat. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. Brian. 0 for 2 from him so far Anderson. in this one. First pitch on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Now the 2-0 home he is looked at for the first strike. You could clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Bases are empty, one man out.
That's not perfect. close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Oh, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's the definitely wondering, ball. where the heck At was that pitch? I think he called throw. it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Now at the plate, Adam Frazier. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Anderson, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's one and two. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Here now the two two is swung on and missed he got him. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his now, fifth strikeout in win. this series alone. Stepping in now, Neil Walker. Left side, but well fouled. No hits to this point. Counts even at one and one to Walker. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Two balls and two strikes to count to Neil Walker. Popped him up. Arcia shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Marlins leave one. We are still scoreless. Welcome back to South Florida. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. In is Christian Yelich. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that's a home run into the top tank. It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich. 29 home runs for him on the year. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. The crowd was hoping and praying he'd go down. Then he quiets him in a hurry with one swing of the bat. And more importantly than quieting the crowd, it gives his guys the lead. That's what we call timely production by a big-time power hitter.
Now the Marlin skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Adam Conley comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Number 61. Adam Conley. Now batting, the first baseman, Mike Moustakis. Standing in now, Mike Moustakis. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. Really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 2 now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. No outs, nobody on. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One of the toughest pitches they hit, the straight changeup, right? Held Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Yes, Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Yosmani Grandal. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here it comes, 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. One out, nobody on. Swung on, missed, 2 and 1. The 2 1 home. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now, the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Fouled off. Another full count offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands now inside bad. the baseball, and the ripped the base hit up the middle. Well, and if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Ryan Braun. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. His career numbers with Adam Conley seven hits in 13 tries. He also has one home run. Grandal stands at first with one out. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Here's the 0 and 2. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. 
And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Into the box, Orlando Garcia, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. That hole getting a little deeper now. It's two and zero. Oh. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the 2 0 -oh home. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. First and second now, one man out. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The third baseman, number 13. Tyler. So digging in now, Saladino. Tyler Saladino. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Two down, runners at first and second. One. And that misses one and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. 1 and 1. Here it is. Couldn't lay one off ball. that time, and it's 1 and 2. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, 1 1, might as well fish a little bit further. To two balls and two strikes now. Two men are on with two men out. It's now 1 0 Milwaukee. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here.
Your Junior Guerra gets the call from the, the pen to take over on Milwaukee. the mound and start the home now seven. And batting in the eighth spot, number 41, Junior Guerra. Now playing third base and batting none. Number Ready 41. now, Jorge Alfaro will Rabbit. try and get something started oh. in the home half of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Ah. Fastball called for strike two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Count even at 2 and 2 to the Marlins catcher. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head. One gone. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter now via the strikeout. I'll tell you, the in a one-run game, especially Rebound. this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. First pitch of the at-bat. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hard hit to first and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down. Well this is where the manager makes his money right there. Nice right at field bat. Field. Now it's a question of whether or not Your he pinch team. runs. Dan as a pitcher did it make not you a little dead. nervous when a guy had jets on the base path. Oh no doubt about it. This is a, this is a very difficult spot. You're one hit away from getting right back into this game and tying this game up. You're going to have to really think about putting somebody on first that might be able to score in a ball in a gap. And he almost had him but he's able to make it back to first safely. The 1 0 is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation, two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind it to count 2 0. And that's in there 2 and 1. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. Popped high in the air. Spangenberg is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, John Birdie. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Birdie. He's set and the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. And it's fouled away. Nothing in two count and the pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning one left for Miami they trail this one one to nothing. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jacob Barnes please. has been summoned from the, the bullpen as he'll do so Miami. to start the eighth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot, 
number 50, Jacob Barr. Now playing center field and batting nine. And that number brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Bobby. Shaw. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. A little late that time as he swings and misses for strike one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. The 2-1 is taken below the zone for a ball. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. In there for a called strike. Three and two now. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Fouls this one off. The 3 2 one more time. Hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So, in the eighth inning of a one run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Lorenzo Kane. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Cut fastball ball inside. Ball one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. The 1-0 is a fastball that misses. 2-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And a full count to Kane, three balls and two strikes. Corey Spangenberg will be next. The 3-2 pitch. There's ball four. Take your base. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know the he's talking to ball. himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes Corey. both ways, though. Thank Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Striding in once again, Corey Spangenberg. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. From the belt, kicks and deals. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. One out, one on in a one run game. A ball and a strike. Well, based on that swing, I'd say this guy's got his A game fastball working right now. The only way you're going to get to that pitch is you got to make an adjustment and get that front foot down a little earlier. 
He said, here comes the 1-1. One -one. Pitch misses low. The throw down is there, and he's out trying to take second. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. Now the 2 1 pitch is looked at for ball three. Christian Yelich would be next. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now batting. Right fielder. Austin Bryce will make his by Yellow. now very Ladies familiar trek to the mound as he'll be appearing in his 105th ball game of the season. One shy of the major league record. Christian Yelich will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First pitch on its way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. Hey, this is the game within the game right here. The hitter has to decide if he's going to change his game plan. Is he going to stay staunch and wait for him to miss over the heart of the plate or inside? Or is he going to adjust his sights and try and drive the ball the other way? That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to 1 and 2. Runner on first with two away. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one, but they're on top one to nothing. Corey Knable is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Stepping up now, Robbie Franks. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And that's in there for strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels now off back. base. Left and that's field. just what they did right there. Big up. strikeout. Look keep that back. guy off the base path. Yeah. 
Standing in now, Alejandro Cortez, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 on its way. And he takes strike two. Hey, you find yourself down 0 2. You got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the now game today, it. Dan? That third was his baseball. third tonight, and oh, it yeah. seems we're seeing that a lot Anderson. more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the box now, Brian Anderson, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0 home. 1 and 1 the count now. And a knuckle curve missed that time. 2 and 1. The 2 1 home. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Adam Frazier would be next. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. So on a full count pitch he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. You know D-Roll there's been some great now pitching in this one so pitch. far after that. Knock, that's only the third Ranger. hit of the game and we're getting late into this one. Yeah they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late but maybe they can get something going. Inside, and he misses inside with that one ball one. The 1 0 home fouled away. The 1 1 to 1 and 2 now. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here now the two two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And another foul ball. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 
working for the punch out and the offering. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Sent on the ground out to second. Spangenberg has it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Marlins leave one. They still trail one nothing. Tehran Guerrero enters from the pen now to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score Number right 56. where it is heading to the bottom Start of the ninth. Off. So here's Guerrero. the cleanup hitter, Mike Mustakis. Due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Even one and one count to Mustakis. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Now the one and one pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Standing in, Yosmani Grandal. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat. Owen won the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Fouled off. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. And a waste pitch there, one and two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Wow, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger the coming up or eight. just lost focus. Ryan. But now the big bat Whoa. steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. In now, Ryan Braun. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hernandez on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. From the stretch. Strike taken up in the zone. It's way the 0 1 pitch. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Oh. 
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One ball. That two misses three. one and two. The one two doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Well all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three and they weren't far off but I think that was a good call Looked to be just a bit outside. Here now the two two is looked at and the count moves full. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. 3 2 pitch. Count remains full. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as a result that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Kelvin Herrera takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 41. Kelvin Herrera. Eric Castro will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Eric Castro. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. The 1-0. Count now a ball and a strike. Grandal at second. Arcia on at first with two down. Pulled toward right center field. Hernandez has a beat on it. And that retires the side. So no runs here. No hits. No errors. And a couple of men left. Brewers come up empty here in the ninth. Last chance coming up now for Miami. They trail here 1 0. Jeremy Jeffress is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Ready now for the Marlins. Neil Walker. He's going to lead things off Leading in their up, half of the Marlins. ninth as they try to the avoid the man. dreaded shutout. Neil. It's never a good feeling to get Walker. shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Knuckle curve down below the knees, one and zero. And it's fouled away. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Two 1 pitch is a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Jorge Alfaro is on deck. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he fouls this one off. A payoff pitch one more time. 
and he popped him up. Shaw moving to his left, and that's the first out of the inning. Now with the play, Jorge Alfaro. Jorge Alfaro. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right-hander against right-hander, as this is a ball 1-0. Jeffress has over 40 innings on his line so far and over those innings he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3 so he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths. Well, Inside looked like the knuckle curve it's 2 and 0. Oh. One out nobody on. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Alfaro in front, three balls and a strike. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Count still full, three and two. And lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that three two pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Now batting, Miguel Rojas. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. Runners on first with one down. Oh, up around the chin there, 2 and 0. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2 0 -oh home. In the dirt here. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And not what they were hoping for as that moves the possible tying run into scoring position. middle infielder this is where if you're the batter one pitch one spot and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind the three and one pitch this is on the ground over to first and he'll take this one to the bag for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base at the plate, Gorky Hernandez. Like he let go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys were looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. 
That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. Miami down to their last strike. In the dirt and block behind the plate. He beats the tag safe. And we are tied here in the bottom of the nine. Man, this guy's going to get a nickname with the world wild in it if he keeps this up. That's his second wild pitch of the game, and this one cost him a run. Not sure if he got a cleat stuck out there or what, but this one wasn't anywhere near the zone. The set and the one two and it lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. A splitter but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and the next thing you know this count stands at three and two. Swung out and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer and we're right back where we started from. Tenth inning coming up. All tied at one and one. Coming to the plate now, Travis Shaw. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. The one one is a fastball taken high for a ball. Herrera, a native of the Dominican Republic, he's a nine year major league vet. Here's the 2 1. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Stepping in now, Lorenzo Cain. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One and one count to the Brewers leadoff man. You know hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Bases are empty one man out. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The three two one more time line drive to left and he will make the play out there and there are two away now 
I know they say the sometimes that these things Second even out, but that was 40. a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Into the box, Corey Spangenberg, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. 0-2, here it is. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here's the 0-2, and he strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still tied, one apiece. Paul Rivas comes on to start the home 10th, and now he's just hoping to get Milwaukee. this one into the 11th inning. Paul Rivas. Steve Pierce is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. 11 home runs and 30 RBIs. Line towards center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Now batting center fielder. Robbie Frank. Digging in to try it again. Robbie Franks. Here's the first pitch to him. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Fastball well outside. Ball called strike one and two action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right hander loosen up. The one two misses ball two one out nobody on. Just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. Alejandro Cortez waits on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next 3 2. Ground ball right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in, Alejandro Cortez. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Oh and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics but it'll wind up a foul ball. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Shaw is there to make the catch and that means we've got more baseball ahead. One two three go the Marlins. Score remains tied one to one. Your Robbie Moylan takes the mound now to start the 11th Marlin. inning. Number three, Robbie Moylan. Strike.
Riding in, Christian Yelich. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Yelich. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball runs a bit inside here, it's one and oh. A ball and a strike. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's the first out to begin the 11. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis, who's hitless in three at bats to this point. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. One and one, the count of the Brewers' first baseman. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes now. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. With money. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. A fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Two out, nobody on. Chopped towards second. And that'll get down for a two out single. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the, the same piece of cheese eight. and it gets turned around. Ryan. Nice piece of hit. Into the box now, Ryan Braun. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Brewers strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Digging in and looking for more, Brian Anderson. He's working on a one for three thus far. Third baseman, Brian. Here comes the first pitch. Swinging a soft liner, and this will be no problem over the third, and there's the first down. Ready for another shot now. Adam Frazier. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. Yelich is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Well, this now one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, Walker. batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Standing in now, Neil Walker. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. 
0-1 pitch coming. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Miami down in order, still tied one apiece. Eliezer right, Hernandez please. gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 58, Eliezer Hernandez. Digging in once again, Orlando Garcia to go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 tie. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Slider laid off for a ball. Center and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. It's a nice job by the batter right there, able to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. Paul Reaver. Ben Gamble will come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 16, Ben. Gamble. 92 splits the plate and it's strike one. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. The 0-1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The one and one pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. Now batting. Third baseman. Travis. Shaw. Digging in, Travis Shaw is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. And he misses with it one and one. Possible go ahead runs on first one away. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Here's a pop up now. Walker waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The so the lineup flips over and digging in. Lorenzo Kane hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did it. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. and Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. Up next for Milwaukee. The second base. Digging in now for the Brewers. Corey Spangenberg. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. 
Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And he lays off there 1-0. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Now the 2-0. Oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Arcia over at second. Kane at first, two out in the inning. Right side. Fielded cleanly. On the first, and the Brewers are turned away as the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple. Score remains tied one to one. Chase Anderson will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Anderson. Coming to the plate now, Jorge Alfaro. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. All right, I'm going to need this guy to find his way across the plate. I think everybody's ready to go home. Nice lead off base hit, not trying to do too much. Usually everybody's looking to launch and end it with the walk off homer. He stayed with his approach and finds himself in good position. He's Stepping going. in now, Miguel Rojas, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. And he is in at third safely, so the winning run is 90 feet away with nobody out. Hey, that's an aggressive move by the manager. I love the decision to force the act and put the defense on his heels. You don't see hit and runs in court in the late innings like that was just used for perfection. Rosel Herrera will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number five, Rosel Herrera. Digging in, Gorky's Hernandez. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. Possible winning run 90 feet away with nobody out. Two and oh. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. Now the 2-0. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. That falls down, and in comes the winning run. And they're going to walk off as winners here in 12 innings. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you can win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? And guys, a very important outing turned in on the mound for the man you see right there. He was a big factor, of course, and is the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award. Yeah, I thought he pitched really well. He wasn't necessarily dominant, but turned in a good, solid effort and definitely was a factor in the win here. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Eliezer Hernandez wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.